<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, behind me is my M2 drift build. It is finally, I shouldn't even say finally because this build literally took two weeks. We started this build like a week after SEMA ended, which is like November 10th. It is now November, what's the day today? 26th. So we finished this car yesterday. 15 days ago, this was a bone, like scratch, like stock M2. Now it is a freaking wide body drift missile that has like 600 wheel horsepower. I'm gonna take you guys from the front to the back, let you guys know all the modifications that are done to this car. First and foremost, the PSM Dynamic Wide Body Kit. I know, I know you guys are hating on the Nardo Gray wide body fenders. Those are temporary. This was just for the LE Auto Show. But after the LA Auto Show, I'm gonna be getting exposed carbon wide body kits from PSM. So it's gonna look exactly like this, except the wide body fenders are gonna be exposed carbon. I'm thinking about doing like a satin exposed carbon or something like that. That's gonna be cool. We have headlights. Those headlights are from New York. Cool story behind this headlight. I decided to do these headlights a week before this build was due and I had to send these out to New York. FedEx charged me like $800 for overnight shipping to get these out there. It normally takes them like three weeks to build this headlight. They did it in like a day. Sent these back. The glue on the casing was still wet when I got it back. I have the 2016 M2, which is the pre-LCI headlight. So what 180 NYC did are add these hexagonal angel eyes those headlights, you can do whatever color you want on those headlights, and it's all controlled through the app. I'll do a quick demonstration. So, just off of your phone, you switch whatever color you want. I like to keep it on blue, because it actually matches the blue bar thingy-majigger that's in there. We also have a PSM Dynamic front splitter. I'm going to be getting another splitter on top of that from MFR after the auto show. Cooling. So, this motor is now pushing 600 wheel horsepower. Actually, just under 600 wheel horsepower. The M2 now has a Pure Turbo Stage 2 Turbo Upgrade Kit, which gets this car to 500 wheel horsepower. On top of that, I have a low pressure and a high pressure fuel pump and direct port fuel injection and E85 and another custom tune so that this car can run E85, which will make this car eventually run at just under 600 wheel horsepower for all that added power we definitely need to keep this car a lot cooler because it was heat soaking a lot so we got csf radiators hooking us up with the whole nine yards of the cooling system skull wheels skull is a company by brixton forged you guys know i have brixton forged wheels on the huracan skull kind of takes this like retro styling from like the 60s or the 70s and put modern technology into them and some of the modern like design cues and make really cool wheels out of them. So I asked Cody for some satin black wheels and the next thing he does is sends me this paint on this wheel where you stick a flashlight onto it and it like glitters, it's like shines, it's really cool. So I really like what Cody does every time I ask for a certain paint color, he just blows it over the top and sends me something cool. Moving back, the whole interior has been reupholstered. We got Blue Alcantara with the Full Send logo embroidered onto the dash. Full Send, by the way, Nelk, huge fan. Please follow me back on Instagram, that'd be appreciated. Full Send is Nelk's logo. It's also my like favorite catch line. I don't know, I just say Full Send all the time. So why not put it embroidered literally onto the dash. Of course, we got the e-brake so we can pull those drifts and then a new upgraded gear shifter, a brand new Sparco seat, thanks to one of my friends. Oh, and then let's not forget, we have the Studio RSR roll cage. That's actually also temporary. So after the LA Auto Show, we're gonna get a full cage that goes like all the way around. It's gonna be legit like race car driving around the street. We have a wing that was stolen from a Boeing 747. And these brackets are made by MFR Engineering, Mike and MFR Engineering. I love these people that like work on my cars because I asked them for something and they just blow it over the top. I legit did not know the full send was gonna be there. Like I showed up to MFR to pick up my car. I saw my wing literally drilled into the car. Next thing I know is look at the strut and it says full send on it. Mike, you're a funny ass guy. The other big noticeable thing about the back is the diffuser. And to put this giant diffuser on the back, we had to relocate the exhaust onto the rear bumper and I was looking at some photos of another car a Ferrari 458 Italia and I was like why don't I just put like a Ferrari 458 exhaust onto my car so MFR engineering literally cut a hole, giant hole in the back bumper rerouted the exhaust and put three big giant tips completely straight piped onto the back of the car it sounds absolutely absolutely amazing by the way MFR they make like legit stuff this diffuser is chassis mounted onto the car so I mean it looks like flimsy sheet metal but it's not you could actually stand on it I mean, give or take, I'm only like 150 pounds. But Mike, who weighs like 250 pounds, literally stood on that diffuser and it didn't move a budge. Like everything here is chassis mounted. The future lip I'm gonna get, everything they make is chassis mounted, which is really cool. Now, also, uh, as I mentioned earlier, my M2 is a 2016 M2. It was a pre-LCI um, M2, so it didn't have the LCI lights, but Toby at Studio RSR, he figured out a way to code and rewire the lights so I can have those LCI tail lights on the back of the car, which just look 10 times better. It's just a new updated. All the brand new M2s come out with it. Um, mine was the pre-facelift. So now my M2 looks like 
the facelifted version. And by the way, Studio RSR is ultimately the one that fully assembled this car. I wrapped this car by myself. By the way, I'm never wrapping another car again. My fingernails are about to fall off. My skin's all peeling. Don't ever wrap a car again. It's like, I don't know how people do it. But yeah, at Studio RSR is where we built this whole car. We were up until like 8 a.m every single night for a straight week. Toby and I, he was literally falling asleep on the chair. He pulled through, like, honestly, if it wasn't for him, this car wouldn't be ready for the LA Auto Show, which by the way, is tomorrow, which is crazy. I'm like looking back at this car, literally not even two weeks ago, this car was a bone stock M2, and now it looks like a mean drift machine. It looks straight up like a race car, which is absolutely amazing. If we come around to the interior real quick, obviously, the blue Alcantara, which feels really nice, but the biggest thing you're gonna notice are these bucket seats. These were given to me by a good friend of mine, slow Prius I'll put his Instagram right here please go give him a follow because he literally just gave me these seats this seat no bullshit came out of a Prius he has a Prius I mean hence his Instagram name slow Prius <laughs> and he yanked these out of his Prius because he had to return his lease or something like that and gave me these seats I've never owned like legit full race car bucket seats before so going in and out of this thing is like crazy oh I can't wait to give this car to a valet they're not gonna figure out how to get in the seat I mean just watch me kind of struggle into it hey you know what Dylan huh. come here we're gonna make Dylan get into the seat just to show you guys how hard it is to actually get into a race car bucket. You're calling me fat? I can't get in. Get in. Oh. We're gonna time him. Here, hold on. How long does it take to get <laughs> get into a race car bucket? Actually, getting in is the easy part. Getting out is the hard part. Anyways. Wait. Nice boxers. I'm in. All right. I'm gonna time you getting out. Three, two, one, get out as fast as you can. Your car is on fire. Uh, oh. I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> Seven seconds. Not the easiest things to get inside, but if you get inside this thing, let's not forget, I did practice this a lot. Uh, once I get in the car and adjust the steering wheel, it, this seat, is so much more comfortable than a regular car seat. It's like, you guys are never gonna believe it, but I can sit here and I can go to sleep. This seat is more comfortable than the original M2, and it just hugs you, and it hugs you all around your body. I, I, I feel so like loved. It's an amazing feeling. Now I'm gonna try to get out without, <laughs> imagine pulling out to a club like this. Oh, don't mind me guys. <laughs> There you have it. There's my Drift M2 build. Come check it out at the LA Auto Show Wednesday to November 28th all the way up to December 9th. It'll be at the front door. The tickets to get into LA Auto Show are only like $12 or something like that. It's super cheap. My car will be there along with like millions of really, really cool builds. So please come to the LA Auto Show and check this out. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to do so many more shenanigans with this car. I mean, this car, no other car in my garage will send me faster to jail than this car. So stay tuned to watch how much trouble I get in with this car. Until then, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.